Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is, is it Wizards? What's going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody had a phenomenal weekend. Uh, we're going to be testing out a really stupid deck today. Uh, it's Is It Wizards? Um, and the idea behind Is It Wizards is to draw extra cards and cheapen up some big spells. We're going to try and do that today. Uh, I've made some debatable calls on this one. Um, wait, wait, heated debatable calls. <laughs> Yeah, uh, some some very debatable calls in this deck, but we're just kind of trying stuff out. You'll notice we've got a lot of two ofs of things and, and that kind of stuff. I just wanted to kind of see what we could do. So uh, I did use inspiration from a couple of different lists that I found uh, and, and kind of built off of those. Uh, and again, I'm not sure that this is good. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards it's probably not, but as I mentioned in, uh, I believe yesterday's video, I'm kind of to the point in standard where I just like to try different stuff, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, no harm done. It was worth trying. So, uh, the idea behind this, like I said, draw extra cards using things like Irith, uh, Tormented Prophet, hope I'm saying that correctly, uh, which basically says if you would draw a card instead, you actually exile the top two cards of your deck, and then you can play those this turn. So, uh, the idea being, of course, that you actually get a little bit of extra, uh, not card advantage because you don't hold on to the cards but you do get to see more cards that you have the potential of playing uh you do lose a lot of cards with this occasionally but in general it's okay uh we do have archmage emeritus as well so whenever you cast uh an instant or sorcery spell you do draw a card this is just a phenomenal card but truthfully i don't love having both of these on the battlefield together uh, just because a lot of a lot of the time you kind of waste the effort, uh, you you end up throwing away a lot of the cards that you would draw. So uh, we'll we'll kind of see how that works as we go along. I'm I'm wondering if maybe this is an either or scenario. Uh, we do have Vadric, which can help cheapen up some spells as well as Kaza, uh, both of which kind of help us get to uh, where we need to be here. Uh, tons of removal, as you can see. We've got Light Up the Night. Uh, we've got Crush the Week. We've got Heated Debate. Uh, we've got Shatter Skull Smashing, all to basically just kind of deal with whatever the opponent's doing. Uh, to slow him down, we do, of course, have Fading Hope. Syncopate is in here, as well as Malevolent Hermit for a little bit of counter option. Uh, and obviously, Malevolent Hermit works great with things like Kaza, which can help cheapen up more spells. Uh, March of Swirling Mist is just a one of to basically phase everything out if we need to. Uh, and then some big payoff spells, of course, between Shatter Skull Smashing, Magma Opus, and then, of course, Seagate Restoration, which can really help us kind of finalize the game. Uh, one card that I generally like, but I don't think is actually that good, uh, is Magmatic Channeler. Uh, I do try this out a lot in Wizard-style decks because I do feel like there's some merit to it, but we're going to try and test that out here. I've trimmed it down. I did initially have it as a full four. Uh, but I think going down to three makes a little more sense, uh, and potentially even lower than that, and potentially none. Um, but I did want to kind of give it, a, it its fair shot, because I feel like it's a semi-underrated card. Maybe not much, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. Oh, we do have Rowan and Will also. Uh, this does, of course, help cheapen up spells, and depending on which side we do, uh, we can obviously do some extra stuff like burning or drawing some cards. So... We'll see how things go, guys. I'm not expecting to get really any wins with this deck, but uh, I do really like the idea of building kind of around the wizard tribal scenario, and there are a lot of good wizards in standard right now, so I feel like there's something to this. Don't think this is the final deck, but we're going to run with it and just see what happens. So let's jump into it, guys. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a win, uh, but if not, no worries. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Now, this is an interesting hand, actually, because we have no uh, red mana, but I kind of want to try it. Uh, the Fading Hope gives us some options. Malevolent Hermit is nice as well. Really, we just need red mana, and this, this hand becomes really perfectly fine. So we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, not super optimistic, but we'll, we'll try it. All right. No turn one play from the opponent, and there is the red mana. That's all we needed. Let's go ahead and throw the Hermit out there. Um, chances are it gets burned out, if I had to guess, uh, which is perfectly fine. But either way, it's going to eat, you know, a, a removal spell. So that works for me. Uh, next turn, we do have Rowan, which I do kind of like. Is that the way we go? Yeah. Uh, or, I guess technically we could go this. Um, 
yeah, let's let's go for the the Geist here. Again, I fully expect this is going to get burnt out as well, but I'd kind of rather that than uh, Rowan. Um, so let's just keep kind of taking spells uh, one for one from the opponent here. <clears throat> Theoretically, if we j if we just get a land or discard the Magma Opus, we get our fourth for the Archmage, and then it becomes a little bit trickier for them to kind of deal with stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and plus up. Not a huge spell by any means, but uh, it's kind of good news that they didn't really have anything to hit it with, so that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, we can't just kill that with Light Up the Night here. Uh, alternatively, we could Fading Hope. I don't think I love that as much. We're definitely not going to draw extra cards this turn, so let's go ahead and plus up. Um, I think we just light up the night. Uh, I, there's a world where we fading hope and leave up a syncopate. Um, but I don't think that really needs to be the case here. We can still leave up the fading hope and, uh, hopefully we can get somewhere with this. Uh, I forget this does actually cheapen up our spells as well. So we could still syncopate, uh, for one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what we can actually do is force the uh, the issue here a little bit. So we can Fading Hope this just to kind of get them off of the chain here. So let's actually do that. This also gives us the other opportunity to... As much as I love Rowan, I don't know. Hmm. Part of me really wants Rowan. The other part of me really wants a land. I think I'd, I'd rather have the land, personally. All right, well, we didn't get a land, but that's okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to plus up here. Uh, I think there's a world where we can actually keep this around, and we'll see how that actually goes, but I'm going to try it. All right. So everything is still a little bit cheaper, which does mean if we'd like to syncopate for whatever they play, we definitely can. Um... And then next turn, we can emblem here, which is kind of nice. This is a good answer to this. So let's make X equal to two. Uh, so they can't pay it. This gets exiled, which just means that they're not going to be able to blitz it, uh, which is really crucial for us. Um, cool. Land? Still no land. Goodness. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, that just gives us a little bit of an extra option here um, and I will go ahead and discard this we don't need to right now truthfully but we kind of need the the mana uh, at some point here good news is this is just an emblem so we do just have this from here on out okay awesome uh, definitely an annoying card just for the, the blood token here because they can start to chain. Um, ooh, voice crack, but that's fine. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. I think we're just going to proactively again kind of do this just so we can get somewhere because we do need a land like badly. So at least we get a scry potentially here. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Uh, obviously, we can't copy it, and we don't get the scry now. All right, give me a land, please. Please, please, please. Crush the weak. It's not a land. Um, <laughs> this is a weird game, because our opponent is also in kind of a similar position, where they just don't have that much. Um... We could tap out for the Archmage. That leaves us pretty susceptible, though, to basically any removal spell. Alternatively, we could crush the weak or just leave up the Fading Hope and maybe foretell this. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to pass with the Fading Hope up. Here's the thing. We can copy the Fading Hope, so if they if they do play another creature or if they get, you know, they they sack here and get their 1-1, uh, their one -one, we can just double up on the Fading Hope thanks to Rowan's token. So that's kind of nice. Or emblem, excuse me. 
Uh, I'm curious if they attack Rowan or they do. Um, I think I let this happen. It's one damage. I'm not really worried about it. Um, we always have the uh, swirling. Oh, this is, is this is only creatures, to be fair. Oh, nice. Does this deal with planeswalkers? It does not. Um, okay. Sure. Well, obviously this is terrible. But here we are. There's the red devil. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll decline. Ugh. That's such a heartbreaking card. <laughs> Uh, like on one hand it is a land do we take it because it's a land oh, I think we have to that's really not good though um, okay do we discard a card I think we do and I think it's the March I think that's fine all right um, obviously just do this Let's see. Um, so we can deal a little bit here, but the uh, so the flashback is cheapened. Let's see which of these is the token and which of these is not. I think we'll just pay the one. Let's get rid of this. All right. So at least we're getting rid of one of these two. Um, I'm getting rid of the cheaper one because I kind of want them to sack this for the, the devil token, but I don't think they will. All right. Next turn, we do have Archmage available without burning our treasure token, which I do think is relevant. Um, but this has been such a strange game. This has been a really bad game, truthfully. <laughs> this has been terrible. Um, and it's a long one. Goodness. What's nice is we can actually double crush the weak. So if they start playing like big stuff, which I don't think this deck really plays much big stuff, but if they did, we can just crush the weak for a lot. So this is the downside to killing the actual Obnixilis and not the token, is that they actually get to keep all three. Uh, burn down the house. That would be pretty ideal right now. Decline. I mean, I think we are just going to lose this game. We got mana screwed. They also got mana screwed, but they obviously function a lot better on less mana. That's a bit frustrating. Um, all right, so let's do this. Do we crush the weak first or do we arc mage? So the trick is, um, if we arc mage first, we will lose the arc mage, but we actually draw a card, which is kind of relevant. So hear me out. I know this sounds really silly, but we're going to do this. Oh, we could have tapped better here. That would have uh, been helpful. Oh, no, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. I know this looks really dumb, guys, but the important thing is we actually draw a card here, and I think we kind of just need to. Um, yep. But we are still facing triple Obnixilis. Nice that Crush the Weak does exile because the, uh, the little devil tokens actually don't hit us for any damage because of that. The Flying in Haste here is kind of nice, although I don't think it's going to be super relevant. Maybe they can kill this, or we can kill the single Obnixilis. Oh man, what a game. This has been just rough. <laughs> I told you guys this deck isn't going to be that good. Um, although I was expecting maybe a little better. Weird that they did that in this order. They should have created the token first, obviously. That was kind of silly. All right. Oh my gosh, how many Obnixiluses do they have? They are just like nailing us with these. Okay. Look at this. I mean, they're functioning on three mana very well. Um, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. 
So dead. Uh, decline. Decline. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> we're so dead. Um, Alright, let's do this. We'll kill one of the Obnixiluses. And we die next turn. So I'm going to good game them here. Unfortunately, they just have us. That was awful. That was really rough. Uh, let's jump into a game too. <laughs> the brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash it resolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game two. Let's hope for a little better this time around. We'll see if we can actually make that happen. Um, I do kind of like this hand, though. This is very interactive, obviously. We don't really have any of our threats, but uh, we do have a lot of ways to kind of prolong the game, which is, I think, worth it. I actually do think we're going to throw the Seagate Restoration. Uh, nope. Change of plans. Let's do this first so we can Fading Hope anything that they play, and then turn to Den of the Bugbear. Okay. I think we'll aggressively fading hope here. Uh, land. Do we want land? No, I actually think we want non-creature stuff, at, or uh, non-land stuff, excuse me, at this point. So let's do this. Um, I'll leave up the syncopate. If they go for like a righteous Valkyrie this turn, uh, it'd be great to be able to just syncopate it or do this. Uh, happy to go ahead and syncopate here, even though Youthful Valkyrie isn't like, obviously it's not just like at the end I'll be all of cards, but uh, I do think it's worth just kind of keeping stuff off of the field until they burn out of stuff to do. Apparently they're also really short on mana, so um, is it worth just using Crush the Weak and saving the syncopate? Or light up the night, perhaps. Yeah, I think it might be. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's let's do this. I think x equals two. Uh, okay. Oh. All right, sick, we did it. Uh, apparently they just didn't draw lands. Um, I, I think that was all that was. We just kind of had every answer under the sun and they had no lands, so I'm cool with that. I'll take an easy win. Let's jump into a game three, guys. Hopefully we have time for one more. All right, guys, here we are for our final game. Um, this is a weird hand. We do have the channelers and we do have two lands. Eh, let's try it. Like I said, this deck isn't great anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, that's actually really nice because it just means we don't have to take three to play a turn two spell. Uh, so I'll take that. Crush the Weak is going to be super helpful here. Alright. Um. Definitely go for the blue here. Hmm. Do we want to Fertel or do we want a Magmatic Channeler? I'm actually going to go for the Channeler. I kind of am hoping they're they're gonna spend their turn to burn this, if that makes sense. Um, we'll, we'll see what they're up to, but uh, they could Royal Eruption it, I suppose, or Thundering Rebuke. Okay, that's a good one. Don't love that. Um, yeah, whoops. So we'll just save the, the channeler here as best we can. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. Alright, so what's the best option? Um, I think we do this, leaving up the Fading Hope plus Magmatic Channeler ability, so we can actually just bounce this with the Fading Hope and then block, use Magmatic Channeler as we see fit. Uh, yeah, I think that might be the best option. Or just do this. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, that sucks, but we'll do this. 
Uh, okay. So we do this. We use the ability. Discard you. Uh, if we hit like a fading hope, that'd be sick. We did not. And we lose the land, which sucks too. Um, okay. Let's do this. Hmm. Wish this was instant speed, honestly. Um. Yeah, let's throw this out there. Because that can actually, well, not with the plus, but we'll see what happens. This is going to be a tricky game regardless, so... Yep. Hmm. I think we have to do this now uh, as much as I don't want to. This is becoming less good because they just have more powerful things. If we can get like a fading hope here, that would be sick. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Well. Yep, that's not gonna happen. Um, all right, well, we're probably just gonna die. <laughs> uh, basically, this deck isn't very good, is the takeaway here. Okay. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so we literally have to block here. Otherwise, we just die. So these all have double strike thanks to the Blade Historian. Um, yeah, I think we're just a little too underpowered. I honestly think like a burn down the house or something to that effect. Oh, we just die anyway. They have trample. Um, all right. Well, that was three games. <laughs> Let's talk about this. All right, guys. Uh, so obviously this deck is a little lackluster. I, I, here's my thing. I really like the wizard tribal idea because there are so many, I think, generally good wizards, but I think they always have some kind of major pitfall. As an example, we didn't really get to see it, but Archmage Emeritus dies because it's a 2-2. Like, it's a four mana 2-2, and yes, it draws you cards, but it takes a little bit to really get going, and I feel like that's not good enough. Um, there is another option for the wizard deck, which is to go more of like a leer direction, uh, which I actually did try initially, um, but it wasn't really as consistent. I mean, you, you basically find yourself into the straightforward leer deck. It's not really a wizard deck anymore. Uh, and so, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, I was just kind of hoping for a little bit better, but I feel like this deck just isn't there. Um, it was fun to play. It's fun to try, but we really didn't get to see it do its thing. And so I hate that because you know, it is what it is, but uh, hopefully we can revisit it, or if you guys have some suggestions, uh, please feel free to let me know, because I would love to, to get a better list for this together and give it a shot. Uh, I was really hoping we could get at least, you know, one or two wins. I feel like the one win we got was a cheaty win, uh, and so I don't really count that, but uh, in general, I feel like it could be a lot better. So regardless, I hope you guys you guys enjoyed watching me play a terrible deck. Uh, I really appreciate you spending the time here. Uh, thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. We should be back to regular live streaming this week as well. I did want to kind of point that out. I know um, I'm a little bit behind on announcing this. I talked about it on Discord, but uh, John did have just a family emergency that he had to go take care of, which last week meant that he was out for the majority of the week. Uh, totally no problem. He just had to do what he had to do. So, um, um, uh, John, no worries, my friend. I know we've talked about it behind the scenes, but just for everybody who might have uh, missed the announcement in Discord, that is what was going on. Uh, and I'll leave it up to him if he wants to talk about it on stream or not. That's up to him. So thank you guys very much for the support. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.